Hey guys, it's me again. Slender here. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. So I uh, did some testing on the PTR. What else is new, right? <laughs> That's all I do these days is spend all of my time on the PTR. But uh, anyway, what we're testing today is the Amber Gem. So I haven't touched this one in a while. In fact, I've never touched it, but I've always hated the way that this works. And, you know, there's rumors that, you know, you're you're better off using one of the lower tier damage conversion gems than the higher tier ones they just give you better numbers and you know it's been a long time since uh well since i've seen any information on this so i decided to do a testing video and just find out you know is it worth using the pristine gems is it better to use the brilliant is it better to use the the regular ones or are you better off using a flawed one well after uh, a little bit of testing i found that it's still you're still going to get more damage if you use the tier two gem, the worst one. And spending money on these cut pristine ones is not worth it at all. It actually reduces your damage and that is still true to this day. So, um, you know, in the video, you guys are gonna see the testing, how I got my numbers. Um, I'm also gonna display the numbers on the screen so it makes it just a little bit easier for you guys to watch and uh, follow along. But yeah, it's still, in my opinion, doesn't work the way I think it should work. You know, the better gems should give us more damage scaling, and that's just not the case still. And it is still better. You're still going to get more damage from using one of these lower tier gems. And this is using 400 focus for an example, because I like to run my focus really high. I like to run with, you know, light gear. And so I kept it consistent. We're going to use 400 focus the whole time. I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like with 400 strength, with no gems, and uh, just, you know, kind of see how close we can get to that full strength damage and yeah we don't even get close so hope you guys enjoy the video and here we go all right so first what we're going to do is now i've never really tested the conversion gems they've always been kind of confusing to me but essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to determine uh, because for a while people were saying that either the cut flawed amber or the the lower tier amber gems were just as good or better had better damage scaling than the pristine ones so i'm just going to find out if that's true still we're going to do different testing with the you know the cut flawed amber then we're going to move on to the regular cut amber and then the brilliant the cut pristine amber and I don't know if we'll do any testing on these because these actually reduce it by 10% to give you the extra bonus, which is, you know, whatever the uh, rune glass is. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to see how much. Now, this is all going to be done with zero weapon traits. We're not going to use any of this stuff. We're going to keep everything as, you know, flat as possible. And the attributes are going to be 400 in whatever we're doing. So first, I want to see how much damage... Uh, you know, the great sword does with 400 strength, just base flat damage. And we're going to do that on the target dummy. So again, 400 strength, nothing in the weapon masteries, nothing at all, and no gem at all. We're just going to see what the base damage is. Okay. So, uh, heavy attack, 3,038 and a light attack, 1823. Now we're going to see how much damage we get with 400 focus and the same exact greatsword. And remember, I'm using all light gear for every test. And we're going to get 400 focus. So a heavy... 1239 now the idea behind these damage scaling gems or the uh, the conversion okay so what we're doing is we're going to be since we are going all focus this is like for a healer setup that still wants to be able to do a little bit of damage with a strength or dex weapon or whatever you you know whatever you want to use so me back in the day i used to run a uh, great axe life staff when that was a thing and we just use a damage conversion gem so if i had a bunch of focus instead of just getting this measly you know uh 1239 damage 
what I would do is I would put one of these conversion gems in there and it would take a big chunk of that focus and apply it to damage so that we'd get a little bit of extra damage. So again, with full focus, I've got 1239 for a heavy and 743 for a light. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that 400 focus. We're gonna keep the same great sword. We know that the life staff's gonna do crazy damage. You know, that's, well, not crazy, but it's, it's okay. But we wanna be able to use this and you know, get some good damage out of it. And you just can't with four, 400 focus. So if you were to duel with this, you know, you would never kill the person. You might stay alive for a while, not with 6,000 HP, but anyway. So just gonna interrupt really quick because I know what you guys are gonna be saying in the comments. You know, Slender, you're not supposed to be able to do as much damage as a full strength, not even close. And I know that, absolutely. My, my point is that we're supposed to get better scaling with the higher tier gems, that's it. I know we shouldn't be doing as much damage as a full strength. I know um, healers are already OP as it is, I get it. But if you use a tier five gem that has 50% uh, scaling off of focus versus you know, a lower tier gem, you should have higher damage if you have that, you know, that, that main focus stat. That's all I'm saying. These gems should give you more damage conversion than these gems, that's my point. Uh, and the way that it's currently set up, that's not how it works. So it, it's maybe now, maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm uh, thinking that they should work in a, a different way than they do. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure that if you have 30% of the damage converted to nature based off of your focus and you have full focus, that this gem should do more damage than this gem. That's my only point. So now we're going to pop a the lowest tier amber and what's going to happen is 20 percent of the damage is going to be converted to nature and it's going to scale off of the base weapon stat or the focus whichever is higher so i'm assuming the base weapons uh stat is 219 slash damage so since our focus is higher than that i think that's how it works since the focus is higher than that we're going to be getting uh what is it 20 percent of our damage off of our 400 focus. So we're gonna put that on there. And now when we attack, we're gonna see one portion. Uh, the other 80% is gonna be off of strength or off of our uh, base weapon stat. So, and then part of it, like you can see right there, 43 of it is gonna be nature damage. So 175 slash and 43 nature. Sorry guys that I'm kind of like stuttering all over the place. This stuff just, I don't know. For me, it's kind of hard to explain. I hope I'm doing all right. <laughs> Sorry about that. So a heavy attack, 991 and 837 nature. So the total, a 991 slash and 837 nature is 1828. And that's with a tier, tier two gem. Now we're going to put a tier three gem in there. And what the tier three gem is going to do is it's going to take 30% of the damage instead of the 20%, 30% is going to be scaling off of the focus. So in theory, we should be doing a little bit more damage because we're making more of it scale off that focus. And that focus is super high. And this is where it gets kind of confusing because it actually is giving us more nature damage, but it's dropping the slash damage. So overall, we're actually doing less damage with the higher tier gem. And I think that's where the confusion is. So the math may be correct. You know, it is giving us more nature, but it's taken away more slash. And again, our overall damage is just less with the higher tier gems. And that's that's where I'm confused. So the the math might be right. The math might be right. It is giving us more nature. So we got the tier three, and now a heavy attack is 867 and 943. So we've got less damage with the slash damage and more with the focus. 
So those two together, 867 and 943, gives us 1810. So we're actually doing less damage, which you would think it would be more damage because we're getting more of the more of the total damage is nature and that nature should be higher so i don't i just i don't know why maybe somebody can explain the math behind it you would think that since more of the damage is scaling off of our really strong focus stat that it would be more but i guess not so now we're going to try the tier four the cut brilliant amber and see how much that does Oh, and we're going to look at it too. So, uh, 87 nature and 131 slash. And we've got 743 and 1050. And that's 1793. So, they really, really, I think they need to rework this because it, we would still get better damage altogether by using the the tier the tier two what the heck so now we're going to put a tier five cut pristine amber which is going to make 50 percent. so it almost seems like the the total damage isn't really changing and and i mean it is by a little amount we're going down but we're going to go ahead and put this in there now this is our tier five now 50 percent of its convert so you would think that that 50 percent would be applied to the 400 focus but that's not how it works if that was the case then each time we increase the uh the tier of the gem we'd get a bigger chunk of nature damage but it doesn't really seem i mean i don't know it's hard to explain but i don't think it works the way most of us thought or hoped it would work so again this is with the the tier 5 gem so we've got 619 and 1156. And that is 1775. Now, whether this is intended or not, folks, um, I don't think it's intended because why would we spend more money on a nicer gem when it does less nature damage which is what we're shooting for we're trying to get the most out of that high focus stat right so why would it be doing that i don't i just don't get it i don't know what these should not be giving us more nature damage well actually that's the thing isn't it it's giving us more nature damage be or no it's not so the nature damage with their tier two is 837 with the tier five, it's eleven fifty six. We're just doing, we're just robbing more damage from that slash. I guess is what's happening. And that nature damage, since it's higher or just as high now, one hundred and nine, it should really be doing a lot more damage. But it's really not. It's doing barely more damage. So that's where the, I guess the confusion might be coming from. It's it's weird the way it works. Period is just weird. So obviously when we put this one in, we're probably going to be doing a little bit more damage with the uh, slash damage. And it's going to be better than using this, but not better than using this. So we're going to go ahead and put one of those in there. So 40% of the damage is converted to nature. Um, and let's see. Seven forty three and ten fifty. So it literally does the same exact amount as a tier four, which gives us a total of seventeen ninety three. So the verdict, folks, is that the uh, the the ambers, the damage conversion gems, still just aren't really doing much. You might as well just go with the cut flawed amber. So for any of those that, of you that were wondering, has this been fixed? Have they changed it? No, they haven't. It still sucks. <laughs> and it's still better to use a cut flawed amber than to use a pristine amber. And it's still better to go ahead and run this gem if you're going to be using a high amount of focus and you still want to do a little bit of damage, you know, with your great sword. So if you're going to be running a high amount of focus, then it's still better to run that low level amber gem. It's going to give you instead of 1239, whoops. Yeah, instead of 1239, it's going to give you 1828 if you use the low tier one, the tier two gem, which again, makes no sense at all.
the cut flawed amber gem is going to be your best bet if you're running a high focus build and you still want to be doing some damage so i hope that uh helps clear up some of the confusion i know it's weird uh maybe we can ask for them to kind of fix that so we can finally do a little bit of damage if we're running a bunch of focus thanks for watching guys if you have any questions let me know and you all have a great day